Do you want to buy a camera but you have no idea which lens would be the perfect fit for you? Here's what you should pay attention to. When it comes to photography, the focal length of a lens plays a crucial role in determining the final look of your images. But what is focal length and how exactly does it affect your photography? Let's take a closer look. The focal length is the distance between the lens and the image sensor in the camera and it's measured in millimeters. And the number that you see on the lens is its focal length. A lens with a shorter focal length, such as 18, is called a wide-angle lens because it has a wider field of view and therefore creates more depth in the image. They are great for landscape and architecture photography because they allow you to fit more into the frame and make the rooms look bigger than they actually are. But they are terrible at portrait photography because you have to come really close and then the face becomes distorted. The best lenses to use in portrait photography are telephoto lenses. Or, in other words, lenses with longer focal length, such as 85mm. Because they allow you to focus and close up on a subject, even from a greater distance, without distorting the face, and the background has a more cinematic look. A prime lens has a fixed focal length and is great for low-light video production and achieving a shallow depth of field, where the subject is in focus and the background is blurred. These lenses have a larger range of aperture, which results in better image quality. A zoom lens, on the other hand, allows you to switch between wide-angle and telephoto focal length. This can be useful in situations where you need to quickly change the framing of your shot without having to change lenses, and it can also be useful in a dolly zoom. A macro lens has a really long focal length, but a really flat field of focus, which means it is designed for close-up videography and capturing of the smallest details, textures or subject. Now you know what focal length is, what it's good for and how it will affect your footage. Based on the type of footage you want to shoot, you can now decide which lens and which focal length would be the best fit for you. Thank you for joining us in this video on focal length. We hope it helps you understand the importance of focal length when creating more engaging and visually stunning content. Happy filming and see you in the next one!